Good morning, all of you. What we have done in the previous session, that is the trajectory equation. Trajectory equation y equal to x 10 theta minus gx square divided by 2 u square cos square theta. This trajectory equation you can also write in terms of range. So I show you, okay, how can you write this? So trajectory equation trajectory equation in terms of range in terms of range how can you write the trajectory equation in terms of range now trajectory equation that is y equal to x tan theta g x square upon 2 u square cos square theta this was the trajectory equation here x tan theta minus g x square upon 2 u square cos square theta now if you want to write this trajectory equation in terms of range as you know range range r equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g u square sin 2 theta divided by g okay now what can write this equation you can take the here x tan theta is common. You can take the x tan theta as common. So here after taking common, the here would be 1 minus g x square upon 2 u square cos square theta divided by here is x tan theta after taking common. When you multiply whole expression by x tan theta, then again you get this equation y equal to x tan theta minus g x square upon 2 u square cos square theta. Now you can write the tan theta. Here x get cancelled. You can write the tan theta. What can you write the tan theta? Sin theta upon cos theta. 1 minus g into x divided by 2 u square cos square theta tan theta you can write here sin theta divided by cos theta clear no tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta so here cos theta get cancelled now, here this expression is 2 sin theta cos theta. 2 sin theta cos theta. So y equal to x tan theta 1 minus g into x divided by u square 2 sin theta cos theta. The half angle formula. This is called half angle formula. So 2 sin theta cos theta, what can I write 2 sin theta cos theta? That is sin 2 theta. The whole expression you can write like this, 1 minus x divided by, you can write u square sin 2 theta divided by g, divided by g. Okay, sin 2 square 
टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा दैट इज इक्वल टू दैट इज इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ टू थीटा क्लियर नो यूज बाय साइन टू थीटा बाय जी दिस इज आर वाई इक्वल टू एक्स टेन थीटा वन माइनस एक्स बाई आर दिस इज रेंज आर इज द रेंज वाई इक्वल टू एक्स टेन थीटा वन माइनस एक्स बाई आर आर इज रेंज आर इज रेंज तो यू कैन रिमेम्बर द ट्रेजेक्ट्री क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑल्सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेंज वाई इक्वल टू एक्स टेन थीटा वन माइनस एक्स बाई आर if you know the range if any question is given or if you know the range okay indirectly you know the range then you have to apply this equation okay by applying this equation okay your question that would be easily solvable okay so y equal to x tan theta 1 minus x by r x tan theta 1 minus x by r when you know the range then you have to apply this equation okay in this equation there are four variables in trajectory equation y x theta and u there are four variables y x u and theta is it clear so they will provide the two variables so two or three variables they will provide the three x y x and theta they will ask you okay matlab you have to matlab you will provided by the two or three variables you have to get the another matlab that is the fourth variable okay did you get my point or not but you know the range if you know the range then you have to apply this formula y equal to x tan theta 1 minus x by r so related to this when you know the range i am going to take okay few questions related to this concept so i show you that this is the first question a ball is thrown From the ground, just clears a ball of 20 meter height. 20 meter height at a distance of 40 meter. So you can take this is origin 0 comma 0. Okay, at a distance of 40 meter. Now this distance is 40 meter. A ball is here. Okay, this is a ball. Here, that is 20 meter height. The height is 20 meter. It just clear. It just clear. It is passing through the top point of the wall. Clear? Just clear. Okay? Just clear. Now it hits the ground on the other side. Other side. Now this is given that is 40. Other side of 80 meter from the wall. So this is 80 meter. 80 meter of the wall. Find the initial velocity of the ball. an angle of inclination with the horizontal and what you have to calculate here what you have to calculate here here you want to calculate the initial velocity that means u angle of inclination with the horizontal that means you want to calculate the value of theta so how will you calculate now in this equation you know the range tell me what is the value of range tell me So range here is it forty plus eighty forty plus eighty that is one twenty meter. This is the value of x or this is y x comma y. So x is here is forty and y is twenty. The value of x is forty, y is twenty. You know the value of x. you know the value of y or you know the range okay you know the range you know the value of x you know the value of y you have to calculate the value of theta first of all you know in this case you know the range then we would like to prefer to apply this equation clear a y equal to x tan theta 1 minus x by r okay hum ye equation lagana prefer karenge okay clear instead of this equation clear yeah. 
what will you write here so you can write trajectory equation in terms of range हम ये trajectory equation in terms of range y equal to x tan theta 1 minus x by r clear so put all the values here x is given that is x is 40 y is 20 so you can write 20 40 tan theta 1 minus x what is the value of x that is 40 divided by range range is 120 so you can cancel this 20 40 what you get 20 40 that is 2 so you can write 1 by 2 equal to tan theta here 3 So one minus one one by three tan theta the one by two equal to tan theta one minus one by three that is two by three so tan theta that is equal to three by four okay three by four tan theta equal to three by four the so theta you can write that is the you want to get the angle of projection. So tan theta is three by four. So theta is fifty three degree. Theta is three by four. That is thirty seven. Not four by three. That is three by four. So that is thirty seven degree. Tan theta is three by four. Here, so theta is thirty seven degree. This is the angle of projection. Now, what is the initial speed? I mean, that means you want to calculate the initial speed also. Now you know the range. You can apply the formula there. Range. What will I write the range here? Range r equal to u square sine two theta divided by g. R equal to you can also write two sine theta like this. Two sine theta. Cos theta divided by g. So range here is r is one twenty u square two sine theta. What is the value of sine theta? You know the value of tan theta. So how can you calculate the sine theta? Thirty seven degrees given. Now you know the tan theta. How can you calculate the value of sine theta and cos theta? Sin theta and cos theta. How can you calculate this? I'm making a triangle here. This is theta. That is thirty-seven degree. Okay. Perpendicular. That is three. Base. That is four. So this angle thirty-seven degree. Okay. By the Pythagoras, what will you get? This is the five. So you can write sine theta. Sine theta. That is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. This is three divided by five. And cos theta, base divided by hypotenuse, four divided by five. Now you know the value of sine theta and cos theta. Now, two of sine theta, two of sine theta. What is the value of sine theta? Three by five. Cos theta that is four by five divided by g. G is I am taking here is ten. 
तो फोर थ्री जो ट्वेल्व फोर थ्री ट्वेल्व यर इज टेन ना वाट कैन बी रेड हियर यू स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव इंटू फाइव डेट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव Here is hundred. I am taking here. I take the here nine point eight. That would be four EGS. If you take nine point eight, this would be perfect root. If we take here nine point eight, how I tell you? Nine point eight into ten. That is ninety eight. Here is two. That is two. So u square that is equal to twenty five into forty nine. Now you can take the root here. If you take the root, this will be five into seven. So u that is equal to thirty five meter per second. Clear to everyone in the class. So initial velocity of projection. That is velocity of projection. That is thirty-five meter per second, and angle of projection that is thirty-seven degree. I hope this is clear to everyone. How I get this? Clear? If you know the range, how can you apply the equation y equal to x ten theta one minus x divided by r? If you know the range, then you have to apply this equation. We would like to apply this equation. Clear? Now, next. This question is very simple, very easy. Okay. A shot is fired from a point at a distance of two hundred meter from the foot of a tower, hundred meter high. So that it just passes over it horizontally. This is very important. Here, over it horizontally. So horizontally, that means that is the highest point. The velocity that would be horizontal, that would be at the highest point. So that this point that would must be highest point. So what is given here? This is hundred meter. This is hundred meter. The tower is here. This is this is the maximum height. You can say this is the maximum height. Hundred meter is the maximum height. It is passing horizontally. Two hundred meter from the foot of the tower. Two hundred meter. So this is two hundred meter. So this is two hundred. So definitely you can say this would be two hundred. Clear. This is the highest point. This is the top point. Direction of shot with horizontal reach. Direction of shot with horizontal reach. Clear? Now do you want to calculate the value of theta? How can you calculate the value of theta? Now, first of all, you can write the range here. So range that would be equal to 200 plus 200. That is 400 meter. Height is also given. That is hundred meter. Okay, height you can also say right. That is y. If you want to write y, this is y. Or you can write what is the value of x? The added distance x is two hundred meter. You can take like this. This is x comma this is y. So you can write the point. This coordinate of this point that is x comma y. So two hundred, four hundred. 200 comma 200 comma 100. This is 100. Clear? So you can apply the equation here. Y equal to trajectory equation. So trajectory equation here is y equal to x ten theta. One minus x by r. You know the range here. 
So put all the values here. Y. Y is hundred. X X is two hundred. Ten theta. One minus X. What is the value of X? That is two hundred. Range is four hundred. So here hundred get cancelled here. This is one by two. Ten theta. Here this would be one minus one by two. <coughs> so one by two equal to ten theta. One by two. One by two get cancelled. So ten theta. That is equal to one. Theta is equal to forty-five degree. This is the angle of projection. This is the answer. Theta equal to forty-five degree. <coughs> Clear? There is. You can also get the relation between range and maximum height. If you know the result, range. What is the relation between range and height? So I tell you what is the relation between them. You can also solve by uh, another formula here. You know range. Range is range in terms of height. Yep. So what is the range? Range here is u square sine two theta divided by g. Maximum height. H. U square sine square theta upon two g. You can write here h divided by r. Suppose if I want to write h divided by r. Simply u square sine square theta upon two g divided by of this. You can have g divided by u square sine two theta. This is two sine theta cos theta. Sine two theta is two sine theta cos theta. Sine theta get cancelled. G here get cancelled. U square get cancelled. What can it be? H divided by r. Equal to two into two that is four one by four sine theta upon cos theta that is tan theta. So you can write tan theta equal to four s divided by r. This is the relation between h range and theta. Tan theta equal to four s divided by r. If you know this formula. You can directly use this formula here. You can apply here tan theta equal to four s divided by r. Tan theta that is equal to four. Height is given that is hundred. Or range is four hundred. Then you get tan theta that is equal to one. And theta equal to forty-five degree. This is the angle of projection. I hope this is clear to everyone. But you should know this formula: tan theta equal to four s divided by r. This is very important. Okay, tan theta equal to four s divided by r. 
क्लियर टू एवरी Yes, now. Now we move a bit up. Okay, everyone. Now, this was all about the ground to ground projection. When you project any particle, ground to ground. Okay. Now, when a particle is projected from some height horizontally, suppose you want to calculate the what is the time of flight. What are distance from the foot of this? You can say building, a tall building, tower, clear any. That's it. What is the range? Okay. So suppose you want to calculate all the all the values here, or when you project a particle horizontally from some height. So how we deal this type of questions? Clear. So I am going to take here. I write the heading. horizontal projection from some height some height in this case what is given in this case height is given <coughs> this is h this is given this h is given this is clear or you are projecting the particle from this height h that is given that is u clear horizontally then pa the path of the particle that would be like this now i am going to take the origin here so i take the origin let's say that is 0.0 Suppose if I say this is R, R is unknown. Here yeah, this is range, distance from the foot of the you can say tall building from the tower from the foot this distance. That is R. So what is the coordinate? If you take this is x-axis and this is y-axis. What does it mean? You have taken y direction is positive and upward direction you have taken positive. Okay, y direction is positive. Clear and up vertically upward direction you have taken positive. This is zero comma zero. First of all, tell me the coordinate of this point. This is x. This is r. Y. Y is find the value of y. So you have to go in the direction of that is r. Then you go in the negative y direction. That is h. The coordinate of this point that would be r comma minus h. Here now, here I want to write in x direction. In x direction, in x direction. What is the initial velocity in x direction? That is very simple. That is u. Acceleration in x direction. That is zero. Acceleration in x direction. That is zero. Or you can also write the displacement. That that is unknown. Displacement in x direction. Clear. So you can write here r minus zero. That is plus r. R. This is the final x coordinate. This is the initial x coordinate. That is zero. Final coordinate minus initial coordinate. That is r minus zero. That is r. This is the horizontal displacement. Clear? But this is unknown. You want to calculate this. Only you know the h, h and u, or it is projected horizontally from some height. Now, in y direction, in y direction, what will you take in y direction? Initial velocity in y direction. Initial velocity in y direction. That would be zero. 
initial this is velocity is in this direction so there is no component in this direction that is 90 so this is zero in y direction that is zero this is zero clear you can u cos 90 degree so this is zero so you can write this is zero Y as you know that is minus z and displacement in y direction. Final coordinate of y that is minus x. Initial coordinate is zero. Minus x. Clear? Now suppose you want to calculate the what is the time taken by the particle from here till here. यहां से लेकर यहां तक कितना टाइम लिया वाट इज द टाइम टेकन वाट द पार्टिकल हिया दैट इज यू कैन से दैट इज टाइम ऑफ लाइट द टाइम फॉर विच द पार्टिकल इज इन एयर तो हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट दिस यू विल अप्लाई द यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एच इयर माइन एच यू कैन अप्लाई द कानिक सेकेंड इक्वेशन यू नो द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन वाई डायरेक्शन तो वी विल apply the second kinetic equation in y direction sy is equal to ui into t plus half ay into t square sy is minus h ui is zero you can add this is capital t that is i am taking time of flight Half a y is minus z into t square. So minus a is equal to minus half g t square. Here you can write here plus this is plus so t equal to root of two h by g. This is the time taken by the particle to reach the ground when we project a particle from some height horizontally. This is very important. This is root two h by g. Now, range r. This is the distance you want to calculate the horizontal displacement. You want to calculate the value of r. Before this, I erase. Okay. You calculate the value of r. So now you know the time, and you want to calculate the range in horizontal uh, horizontal direction. You can say displacement in horizontal direction. So if you know the time, which equation will you apply here? In x direction, u x s x equal to u x into t plus half e x into t square. E x is zero. E x value of e x is zero. That is e x is zero. So this would be zero. So s x is equal to u x into t. So t is the time of flight. So you can direct write this is plus r. U x is u. This is u into t. So r equal to u into t. You can also write u into root of two h by g. Two h by g. This is the horizontal range. This is the value of r, u into t, u root of two h by g. Okay, you can remember both results. T equal to root of two h by g, and the horizontal displacement that is horizontal range that is u into t, u divided by root of two h by g. Okay. Now. So we are going to solve. 
okay some questions related to this concept now try to solve this one Remember, plane is flying horizontal, horizontally with a constant velocity 540 km per hour at an altitude of 1500 meter. If a bomb drops from the plane, it's a target on the ground. Time taken by the bomb to reach the target. Second part is the horizontal distance between the plane and the target at the time of drop. Horizontal distance. This is the horizontal distance. मतलब you want to calculate the value of r. आपको r चाहिए और time of flight. Now first of all here, this is given 540 kilometer per hour. So you can change into meter per second. So you know here one kilometer per hour. First of all. That is kilometer. That is one thousand meter. R is three six double zero seconds. So this would be in meter per second. This would be meter per second. So here, what can we write? One kilometer per hour. That is after solving this, you get five divided by eighteen. meter per second so you can calculate the value of u initial velocity that is u so u that would be equal to 540 into 5 by 18 that is equal to 150 meter per second. Yes, 150 meter. Per. Initial velocity. Now you know the velocity, horizontal velocity. For what is the height is given? H is equal to 1500 meter. The first part that is time of flight. Time. Taken by the particle. Particle to reach the bomb. This is the bomb. Okay, that particle is bomb. Okay. risk ground so what will you write here you know the result that is t equal to root of 2h by g h 1500 Here yeah. height is given that is one five double zero t equal to root three hundred. So you can write this is ten root three second. Okay, this is the answer. Time taken by the bomb to reach the ground that is ten root three seconds. Here yeah. now second part. Horizontal distance. Horizontal distance. Range. R equal to u into t. U into t. U into t. That is u into root two h by g. You have calculated the value of root two h by g. So the root of two h by g is ten root three. So simply, you can write here. R 
equal to u. What is the value of u? U here is u here is just a second. Range is u. What is the value of u? U is one fifty into t. T is ten root three. So this is equal to one five double zero root three meter. One five double zero three meter. Clear. I hope this is clear to everyone. Now, next, a ball. Balls of of the edges of horizontal table. Top of four meter high. If it strikes the floor at a point five meter horizontally away from the edge of the table, what was its speed at the instant it left the table? So here you want to calculate the value of u. U you have to be here. And this r is given. That is four meter. Yeah. So how will you calculate at the top of the table? That is four meter high. That's equal to four meter. So firstly, you will calculate the time of flight. The time taken. That is, you know the formula. That is t equal to root of two h by g. What do we write here? T equal to root of two h h is four g is ten. This is four. I have taken this. So t equal to This is simple. Two. This is two divided by root five. Second. Yeah. Now, this is the time. Now range. The range that is equal to. R equal to. U into T. So R varies the value of R. That is four meter. U. Want to calculate the value of U into T. T is given two upon root five. What is the speed? The speed that would be equal to range is here is five. Uh, range here is five, not four. That is five. Five. This would be five root five divided by two meter per second. Here, yeah, very simple. Okay. So what was the speed at the instant it left the table? Okay. This is five root two five divided by two. The horizontal distance that was given that is five. Okay. Or so this is vertical. That is four meter. Or so this is the time two two into four divided by g. So what you get here? Okay, two divided by root five second. You can put the value of time here in the second equation. Then you get u equal to five root five divided by two meter per second. Clear? 
So when you project a particle from some height horizontally, then you have to apply these two formula. And this is the time taken by the particle to reach the ground, that is root 2 h by g, and what range, that is horizontal displacement, you can say, or you can horizontal distance, okay, you can say u into t, u of root 2 h by g. Now suppose if you project the particle at angle of theta from this, then what would happen? What, would the, what are the changes here? Suppose you project the particle from some height at angle of theta. I show you like this. Suppose if you project the particle like this at the speed of u at angle of theta this coordinate is 0, 0. For the coordinate of this point, you say suppose r or this is h. The coordinate of this r, minus h. Here. So what will you do here? r, minus h, this is 0, 0. So you, firstly, what will you do? You will do the component. Simple. This is u cos theta. This would be u sin theta. So you can write in x direction, in x direction, ux is u cos theta, ax that is 0, in y direction, Ui, u sin theta, ay minus g, and horizontal vertical displacement sy, that is again minus h. Or well, you want to calculate the value of sx, as, or this is plus r. This is unknown. U theta and h is given. U theta and h is given. Clear? So simply, you know the value of h here, g here, u sin theta here, you will apply the kinematic sec second equation. So kinematic second equation that is sy is equal to ui into t plus half ay into t square. This is minus h ui is u sin theta into t plus half ay you can take minus g into t square. So from this equation, this is the quadratic equation. You can write here. You can write minus 2h minus 2u sin theta into t minus half gt square. So gt square minus 2u sin theta into t minus 2h equal to 0. From this equation, you will calculate the value of t. From this equation, we get the value of t by solve. This is the quadratic equation. You know very well how to solve. Okay. So from this equation, we will get the value of t. Now here. Range. So simply for the range, this is a horizontal displacement. So Sx is equal to displacement of ux into t plus half ax into t square. Ax that is 0. Displacement that is Sx equal to ux into t. So Sx you can write that is r ux. ux is u cos theta into t. From this equation, you have calculated the value of t, you have the value of t here. Ok. 
Yeah. U constant entity, then you will get the horizontal range. Simply, very simple. Clear? Now, I give you one problem related to this concept. This. From the top of a tower 50 meter high, the H is given. meter a stone is projected above with a velocity of 30 meter per second this is you at angle of 30 degree this angle is 30 degree with the horizontal above they were projected above with the horizon 30 meter fine find the time for which the stone remains in air Distance between the base of the tower, this, and the point where a stone strikes the ground, this. You want to calculate the value of R. So first of all, in Y direction, you will write all the values here. In Y direction or in X direction, I am putting in X direction. What will you write here? Ux or in y direction. Simple. In x direction, that is 30 cos 30 degree. Ux is 0 or in y direction Uy is U 30 sin 30 degree or 30 sin 30 degree that would be here that is 15 meter per second and Ay is minus Z or here Ux is 30 cos cos 30 degrees root 3 by 2 that is 15 root 3 meter per second or here sy sy that is equal to minus 50 so you can apply the equation here second equation sy you will calculate the time ui into t plus half Ay into T square. So what is the value of Sy? Sy is minus 50. Uy is plus 15 into T. Ay is minus C. I am putting here minus 10 into T square. Minus 50. 15 into t, this you will get minus 5t square, so 5t square minus 15t minus 50 equal to 0, t square minus 3t minus 10 equal to 0. Now you can solve this, t you know how to solve this quadratic equation. T how to solve T plus 5 or T minus 2 T minus 2 equal to 0. Then you get t equal to minus 2 and 5 seconds. So you have to take the 5 seconds, t equal to 5 seconds, or t equal to 5 seconds. Clear? Is it clear? So t equal to 5 seconds, and now you know the time. 
to reach the ground when you project a particle at angle of 30 degree with the speed this 30 meter per second so time taken by the particle to reach the ground that is t equal to 5 seconds now what the horizontal distance between the base and the tower and point of projection matlab range so again we will apply the second equation here in x direction ux into t ax into t square ax is zero here so this is r ux what is the value of ux 15 root 3 for time is 5 then you calculate value of r that is 75 root 3 meter so this would be the answer of this question this is the part b or answer to part b or this part A. I hope this is clear to everyone in the class. When you project obliquely from some height, then how to solve these type of questions? Simply in x direction, in y direction, you have to write. Okay, according to that, you have to apply the equation you first, second, and third. Here you want to calculate the time, but you know the displacement, vertical displacement. So I apply the here second equation, kinematic second equation. Now here in the, this, you know the time, you want to calculate the displacement in horizontal direction. So apply, I apply the second equation in horizontal direction. Clear? So what we have done till here, okay. So I show you again all the slides I show you all the slides again or the projector motion has been completed with so I show you today's slide first the trajectory equation in terms of range range in terms of height you have to remember the formula tan theta is 4 h divided by r this theta angle of projection and initial speed initial velocity yeah, I solved this question by two methods. If you know the formula, you can apply this one. Now, trajectory equation if you know the range. Horizontal projection from some height. This was the question. First and second. When you project obliquely from some height, how to solve this type of question? I took one example here. Okay, so this was all about okay. So projector motion has been completed beta. Now, if you want to solve some questions, okay, if you want to, to practice, okay, so you can solve this question. This question is related to trajectory equation. In this is range and maximum height. Second question, this is very simple. Range and R, what is the relation between R and R max? 
third question fourth this question is very simple okay all are at ncert level fifth question okay you can solve if you want to practice better okay clear for everyone in the class okay thank you all of you beta okay thank you thank you so much bye take care thank you